Hey everyone, I am Uttam Singh and in this video of Polygon DeFi Guide playlist, I am going to show you how you can withdraw your tokens from Polygon to Ethereum. And if you haven't checked out the Polygon DeFi playlist yet, go and check it out. And now let's get started with our video. But before that, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and also hit the bell icon. I am on Polygon Bridge and as usual the link to the Polygon Bridge is in the description of this video. In the last video we saw how to deposit our token from Ethereum to Polygon. So if you haven't checked out the last video go and check it out first. And now in this video we are going to focus on how to withdraw that token from Polygon to back to the Ethereum, right? So now click on that withdraw button and then you will see that now we want to withdraw our token from Mumbai to Gorli, that is from Polygon to Ethereum. So now we have our balance as 0.02 ETH in our Polygon chain. So here you can also select between different tokens, what token you want to transfer, right? So if you want to transfer Ether, you can select on Ether. If you want to transfer Matic, you can select on Matic. And if you want to transfer any other ERC20 token, then you can select it, right? So let's now first of all transfer Ether back to the Ethereum chain. So I'm going to click on Ether and then we will have to enter amount, what amount we want to transfer. So as of now, I want to transfer the maximum amount that we have in our wallet. So I'm going to click on that maximum amount and it will be 0.02 ether right and also now you can see that there is a transfer mode option in which you can switch between bridges what is this now click on this switch bridge and there you will see that it, you can choose between different transfer mode one is the plasma bridge and other is the pos so plasma bridge is more secure but it takes a lot of time that is approx seven days to complete your transaction but it is much much secure and other on the other hand we have pos bridge and pos bridge is somewhat less secure but it is much faster as compared to plasma and it takes just around seven to eight minutes to complete your transaction right so as of now i'm going to select us bridge but if you want to learn more about bridges you can click on learn more about bridges and you will be redirected to the polygon docs and there you can learn more about the pos bridge and you can learn about the plasma bridge and you can select which bridge you want to select for your transaction so now let's get back to the web wallet and there i will choose the pos bridge so i have choose the pos bridge and now i want to transfer the maximum amount that is 0.02 eth back to the Gorli chain back to the ethereum chain so now i'm going to click on that transfer button and again you will see the same important notice click on that continue button and you can see the transfer overview again that is withdraw completed this is the gas fee and now hit on the continue button and there again confirm your transaction that is 0.02 ether back to the ethereum chain from polygon chain Focus on the transfer mode as well. The transfer mode now is POS bridge and it will take around seven to eight minutes to complete your transition. Now click on that continue button and then you will see a MetaMask pop up again and it will ask for your permission that is that you are confirming your transaction so you can see all your details here that now you are withdrawing so check out all the details that is the maximum fee estimated gas fee and the total gas fees as well and click on that confirm button so you have confirmed your transaction and you will receive a metamask notification that your transaction is completed so your transfer is in progress and it has initialized and it is now waiting for for the checkpoint and you have to wait for around 45 to 3 hours for this polygon pos checkpoint arriving right and if you want any of the support you can click on that support button and you will be redirected to the support website and if you have any of the doubt you can create a ticket and you can read a faq as well and now if you want to see your transaction on the mumbai explorer and uh, i need to tell you that ethereum has ether scan and the polygon network has mumbai scan for the testnet or the polygon scan for the main so if you want to see your transaction on the mumbai explorer click on that view on mumbai explorer button and you will be redirected to the polygon scan and here you can see your transaction your transaction hash 
status and block number and all the information now let's get back to the polygon wallet and let's wait for some times for the checkpoint arriving so after 10 minutes of waiting the checkpoint has successfully arrived your transaction is checkpointed on ethereum network you now need to confirm one more transaction to get your funds in your ethereum accounts so after waiting if you face any of the issue or your checkpoint is not arriving click on that support button so as of now this is your estimated transaction fee and now let's click on the continue button you can see that now it is asking me to select the goldly network in the metamask so let's open our metamask and let's now select the goldly network in our metamask then polygon test so click on that drop down menu and from there choose between the goldly network so if you are doing this on the main net you need to select the ethereum mainnet but right now i am doing it on testnet that's why i will choose the gorilla test remember i am on the polygon test wallet that is why i am using polygon and ethereum testnet but if you are doing this on the main network you will need to use matic mainnet and ethereum mainnet right so you will be switching between matic mainnet and the ethereum mainnet right so let's now select the gorilla test network and i have selected the gorilla test network and now Let's again click on that continue button and you will again see the metamask notification right so let's again confirm the transaction you will see all the information and you will also see the estimated gas fee and the total gas fee so click on that confirm button and you will see that your transaction is now in progress and you will also receive a metamask notification and if you want to view this on etherscan click on view on etherscan if you want to reach out to the support of polygon team click on that polygon support button and now it will not take much longer time it will be a very quick process and your withdraw will be successfully complete so yes your withdraw is now successfully completed if you want to see your transaction click on that view on ether scan button and then you will see that your this is your transaction hash and the transaction has been included and will reflect in a short while so if you want to refresh you can refresh it and i guess it will take only 1 to 2 minute or 30 seconds so here is it on the ether scan your transaction is successful now let's get back to the ethereum wallet and now let's click on the close button and let's now withdraw matic token from polygon to ethereum so as of now you have to again go to the drop down and select matic and there you will see that your transfer mode is automatically changed to plasma why because when you transfer matic token from polygon to ethereum there is only one transfer mode you can't choose pos mode you can't choose the pos bridge right so for matic token the plasma bridge is recommended and it is fixed right so as of now i have 0.4991 matic token so but i am going to transfer only 0.4 one matic token from mumbai to gorli that is from polygon to ethereum so let's now click on that transfer button again you will see the same notice click on that continue button again you will see the transfer overview so check your transfer overview and click on that continue button again confirm your transaction yes we are transacting 10.1 matic from polygon to ethereum and this time the transfer mode is plasma bridge and it will take around 7 to 8 days on the mainnet to complete your transaction click on the continue button again you will see a metamask pop up or a metamask notification and you need to confirm your transaction you will see that now it is asking for you to switch between different network why because we just shifted from polygon to ethereum right but now we are doing transaction from polygon to ethereum so we need to be on the polygon network so it is asking me to switch between the polygon network and go to polygon testnet so i am going to hit the switch network button and directly it will change the network and now you can see that again a metamask notification will pop up and there you now need to confirm your trans so confirm your transaction now you are withdrawing 0.1 matic from polygon to ethereum so click on that confirm button and so let's wait for a few seconds and then you will receive a metamask notification and you can also see that your transaction is in progress and i have received a metamask notification so this will be done in few seconds and uh, yeah now you will see that your transaction has been initialized and now it is again waiting for the checkpoint so if you have any of the issue please contact 
the support button and let's wait for 45 minutes to three hours. So the checkpoint has arrived and your transaction is checkpointed on the Ethereum network, right? So now you need to click on that continue button and you also need to now select the Goli network in your MetaMask. So open your MetaMask and from there, switch to the Goli network. So click on that drop down button and select the Goli network. And again, if you are mainnet, go and select the Ethereum mainnet. Right. So I've selected the Gorli test network and now I will again hit the continue button and it will process. And again, you will see a MetaMask notification pop up. And again, you need to confirm your transaction. So scroll to the bottom and click on that confirm button. And after you hit the confirm button, you will receive a notification from MetaMask that your transaction is completed. So as soon as you will receive a MetaMask notification that your transaction is completed, this transaction will be done. So I have received the notification from MetaMask that your transaction has been confirmed. So your transaction is now in the challenge period. Your token is ready to move from Polygon to Ethereum in the network, complete this last transaction and you are done. In case you have an issue, you can reach out to the support, right? So click on that continue button. And again, let me tell you that right now I am in the testnet wallet, right? So in the testnet wallet, it automatically gets completed in just few minutes, right? But on the main net, there will be plasma process. So this challenge period take around seven days, right? So in the main net, you will have to wait for seven days in the plasma to complete your transaction in the plasma bridge, right? So it will take around seven days in the plasma on the main net and on the test net, it will be very, very quick. And now after seven days, when your challenge period is completed, you will have to again confirm your transaction. But as of now, I don't have any Ethereum fees in my wallet. So I will first add my Ethereum fees to the wallet and then we will hit the confirm button. So I have now deposited some more Ether to my accounts. Let's then again hit on the continue button. So you can see a MetaMask notification and now you need to click on that confirm button. Click on that confirm button and your transaction will be completed. And also you will receive a MetaMask notification about your confirmation of your transaction. Yes, I have received the MetaMask notification and this transaction is in process and it will be done in few seconds since, since I have received my MetaMask notification that is about the confirmation of our transaction. Yes, we have now successfully completed our transaction. So your transfer is completed successfully. If you want to view it on Etherscan, click on view on Etherscan and you will be redirected to the Gorli test network ether scan and there you can see the success you can see the transaction hash you can see the block number and all the details now let's get back to the wallet and again and let me tell you again that on the main net on the polygon wallet main net it will take around seven days to complete that challenge period as of now i am on the test net that's why it is very very quick but on the main net it is not quick it, it will take around seven days to complete that challenge period and move your metric token from Polygon to Ethereum. And now you know how you can deposit and withdraw your token from Polygon to Ethereum or Ethereum to Polygon. So stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't checked it out, the Polygon DeFi playlist yet, go and check it out and like this video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well. Thank you.